Welcome. What you see here is a data table on Bubble, but this data is not coming from Bubble's own database. This is coming from a Google Sheet, which is right here. And this data we're pulling in to our Bubble live. So that, let's say if you make a change here, one, two, three, go back, and watch right here. Let's refresh. There you go, the change reflects right away. So now that you have seen this, let's go build this from scratch. All right, so we are at our bubble editor and this is our index page that I prepared before. And I use this as a template because I've already upgraded this layout to Flexbox. So that's why you can see here the row, column, etc. Are, are showing up. And I chose the column layout because we're going to be stacking everything from top to bottom. And the custom width, I have 1280 for my UI builder and 800 for the height. Right? So what I usually do, I go ahead and create a new page. We're going to call it Google Sheet and we're going to clone this index page. All right, this is where we're going to start working. So first of all, we're going to have our actual content block and we're going to name it main content and we go to the appearance remove the default styling and give it a flat color as a background and for now we're going to choose something nice and blue maybe a little lighter all right now let's go to the back to the layout and here also we're going to add everything from top to bottom so we're going to change this layout to column and remove the fixed width so that it can expand from left to right fill up the container and the minimum width should be zero and the height let's make it 750 right so this is going to be our main container and we're going to give it a max width of 800 center it now let's preview all right so we have our container block actually we're going to make the table 800 so this one let's make it 1200 let's preview this is much better okay now let's bring in our header text and give this a default size of heading h1 dark and call it google sheet data now let's go to layout remove the fixed width reduce the minimum width to zero minimum height to zero also give it a top margin of 50 bottom margin of 50 now let's go back to appearance, remove the default styling and center it. Let's preview. Looks great. Okay, now that our container is built, so now let's focus on our backend. Let's look at the data source. Okay, so this is going to be our data source. This Google Sheet. And we are logged in here as HTML5 dev right so this is the service we're going to be using sheety so here we just have to log in as the owner of this google page i mean the google sheet page right html for five dev right so we find this and log in using that account now we click on new project from google sheet and all we have to do just collect this URL just highlight that control C 
do copy or just right click copy and come here right click paste hit enter and boom it recognized it immediately that's the bubble data see that's the file name and it's targeting sheet one which is sheet one right here right so all i have to do now create project and boom it allows you other things to post put delete etc but we're going to focus on just the get we're going to just get the data right so now that we're connected so we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and highlight this Control a and i'm gonna copy it with Control c now let's go back to our bubble editor now let's go back to plugins we already have our api connector and as you can see this is another api name that we worked on previously with uh, the stripe api so this time we're going to just add another api and we're going to name it google sheet mousse right and now we're going to create the actual api call expand it name it get sheet data and our method would be get as we saw here get right now we, let's just paste the url okay so now we are ready and let's go initialize the call there you go went ahead and got my data fields assigned data types automatically and we can even go to show raw data and see it's actually pulled in all the data if you look at it here it is exactly these guys so let's save it now let's go back to our editor and get started adding them let's start with adding a repeating group and first thing we do let's find a data source and that would be get sheet data and in here we'll go to get exter external API and right here we will find the Google sheet moose and get sheet data highlight that click here once click here boom we are in as soon as this turn blue we are good now let's remove the fixed number of rows and let's keep it at 100 the size and let's remove the default styling and change the background color to a flat color let's keep it at white now let's go to layout let's change this layout to row because we're going to be adding stuff side by side here and let's remove the fixed width so that it reaches end to end minimum width down to zero and let's keep this uh, actually change this minimum height to 450 so that it's a little bit larger and in here we're going to give it a max width of 800 and center it let's preview looking good and the reason it's expanding all this way because it is it knows the data source is this here and it's already expanding to you know 10 blocks right that being said let's go back now let's bring in a data block which is a group we're going to dump it right here and this one will have the data from top to bottom so we're going to give it a column layout and first thing we do is come here name it badge actually badge number because this will hold our first column badge and now the type of content should be get sheet data and right here current sales sheet boom click here we're good our data source is set now let's remove the default styles change the background to a flat color and give it a light red okay looking good now let's go back to the layout 
let's remove the fixed width and the minimum high width to zero and for now we're going to keep this 250 but later on we're going to remove remove that too okay so this time we're going to go ahead and give it a padding of 20 20 20 and 20 nice little padding so none of the content will touch the border now let's go and bring in our first text element and this is something we're going to use as our table header first let's remove the styling and give it a font size of 20 okay and then make it bold make it centered now let's go to the layout let's remove the fixed layout i mean fixed width and the min width of zero mean height of zero and now let's go and call it badge number and that's going to be our column header that being done looking good and let's do a preview all right let's go back and highlight this guy do a control c control v to copy it and here we just remove the bold keep everything as is and go to layout and give the guy a top margin of 10 and bottom margin of 10 and this is where we're going to bring in our dynamic data so let's go back remove this dynamic parent group google sheet and batch number right so now let's preview nice all the data is here all right so looks like our data is set so at this point let's go to the container which is the group badge and go to layout and remove this min height to zero boom and let's preview all right they're looking great but one thing you notice that this badge here this uh, title is showing up in every column right this is supposed to be the column header right so to make that work we have to use a conditional logic highlight this first thing we do we remove this this element is visible on page load first make it disappear then add a condition when our current cell index is one which means whenever we are here on the first one and cell index is like one two three four like that so whenever our cell index number is one then we make this element visible and we check it that being done let's preview there you go and all that white coming in we know exactly from where because let's go to the repeating group itself and let's change this 100 which is the minimum height of a row to 80 and let's preview perfect now let's go back and finish the job because all our data structure column everything is just as we intended to now highlight this and this is the column header container right header and data and we do a control c and control v now why is this header missing because the logic kicked in so it is now invisible so let's just click on this eye icon and bring it back and while we are here let's go and change the background color a little nice and let's change this to name this is where our employee names are going to go and uh, dynamic data click here badge and change it to name it's blue we're good let's preview boom there you go actually i would like to change this color a little bit because it's sort of blending in so let's go back here and make it a little bit there you go 
let's preview now it's standing out great let's go back get our third column in highlight Control c and Control v as usual the logic kicked in and text disappeared so we just brought it in and remember this is only for the editor here right so let's highlight actually let's first change this color to something a little bit purple good good so now let's go highlight this and this one we're gonna say salary and here we're gonna do a little bit of extra because we're gonna bring in the salary and we're gonna go to more formatted as choose currency decimal place two and then thousand separator would be a comma and currency let's do a pound sterling close now let's go preview and all our data from our google sheet is now here and one last test let's make a change let's go back and make sure this is actually live data and put in xyz and let's give this guy a salary bump of a thousand bucks there you go 3000 and AAXYZ let's go back and refresh our page and immediately our change is taking effect this concludes our, this video on Google Sheet data on bubble if you like this please smash the like button and please don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching thanks for watching if you like this video, please smash the like button and the subscribe button. This will help me bring more free contents like this to you every week. Thanks again.